ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಪಾಸಿಂದುಬೈವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲನ್ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶಿ ಗೌರಿಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಬರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನುತ್ತ ಸರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾಂಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ವಿಜಬರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿದ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
भयम प्रमत्त वनेश पिशात यत सस्ते सहसट पत्निया जितेन्द्रिय स्वात्मरतिर्बुध्य संसार बंधन किंगु करोति अवधिया भय प्रमत्त वनेश पिशात भय प्रमत्त वनेश पिशात यत सस्ते सहसट पत्निया जितेन्द्रिय स्वात्मरतिर्बुध्य संसार बंधन किंगु करोति अवधिया गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड समबडी साउटिंग डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी आई लाइक टू लीड माय पीसफुल लाइफ डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी लेट मी अलॉन्ग गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दिस काइंड ऑफ पीपल दे आर एक्चुअली हैविंग पैसिव कामा दे मास्ट है पैसिव कामा दे मास्ट है पैसिव काम एक्सटर्नली यू कैन नॉट सी दैट दे हैव कामा श्योरली दे हैव कामा पैसिव काम अदरवाइज वाई दे आर गोइंग टू स्पीक दिस वे सम डिबोट इज सो कॉल्ड डिबोट आई लाइक टू लीड माई लाइफ पीसफुली डोंट डिस्टर्ब मी बट वेर एज यू नो वेर एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट तुमार सेवा दुख है यत से होते परम सुख एनी अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रावल एनी अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रावल कमिंग इन माय लाइफ आई कैन एक्सेप्ट वेरी ग्लैडली फॉर योर से एनी अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रावल कमिंग इन माय लाइफ एनी प्रॉब्लम आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट ग्लैडली तथ्य अनुकंपा सुसमीक्षम भुंजान एव एव आत्मकृत विपाक ऑल अकॉर्डिंग टू माई प्रीवियस एक्टिविटीज सो आई विल हैव टू सफर ग्लैडली आन फॉर भगवत सेवा गुरु वैष्णव सेवा एनी अमाउंट ऑफ ट्रावल कमिंग इन माई लाइफ आई शुड एक्सेप्ट इट ग्लैडली इफ आई लाइक टू पास अवे इफ आई लाइक टू अरेंज माई ओन सिक्योरिटी own tranquility own everything own personal right everything if i then surely i am not a devotee a devotee cannot have a devotee surely cannot have this kind of mood a devotee can surely cannot have this kind of mood devotee mean dedicated devotee mean dedicated totally sometime we think if we go to forest then there is very nice no problem there nobody going to disturb me but it is more problem for bonded soul we think so we think that if we go to very solitary place even in forest is very good for us nobody can disturb so we can do bhajan but it is more dangerous for bonded soul <coughs> bonded soul anyway going to carry his own bonded mind intellect all anartha can carry the go down is full is go down is full of anartha <coughs> different kind of <coughs> defects so i like to go to forest to lead life so anyway i am going to carry all those dirty sanskar everything in the forest and day and night i can <clears throat> try to do hari nam hari krishna hari krishna krishna but my mind cannot touch a prakriti jagat my mind can go here and there material thing <coughs> my mind can go here and there all the time though i am in solitary place but my mind can go to some places anyway so this way we can never lead solitary bhajan only when we can remember all leela everything by the power of our bhajan i mean i mean by the mercy of guru vishnu when i we can attain up <coughs> this level where when we are chanting hari nam 
we can remember all lila, everything. No material thing not going to touch. Symptom of a pure devotee, many symptoms. I am going to speak one symptom. Symptom of a <coughs> symptom of a pure devotee that they are not feeling disturbance at all. That is the symptom of a pure devotee. Pure devotee never feeling any problem. Always satisfied. Because their mind resting unto a lotus feet of Gauranga. I mean Krishna. So how they can feel dissatisfaction? Anyway, any situation they feel. They are not ex ex excitement, no anxiety. Nothing can be there. Because all Saradipu, six enemy, if I go to forest, all my six enemies can follow me. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madhva, Mascharja, all can follow me. So they are, going, they are going to disturb me in the forest. So this way we cannot go to solitude forest. Kittana Pabhave Smarana Haive Kittana Pabhave Smarana Haive Shekale Bhajan Nirjan Sarmav By the power of Kirtan, when my Kirtan is perfect, I mean not contaminated by any material conception, my kirtan is perfect when my kirtan is perfect when my kirtan is not contaminated by any material things, material conception, material things. Then my kirtan is pure. This kind of kirtan can help me to remember Dhamma, Nama, everything, Bhagavan, Leela, you can remember devotees, Dhamma, or everything can remember. All different kind of Leela, a series of Leela you can remember. Artificially, you can try to uh, practice Ashtakalin Lila. Some foolish people, they are in the apron of devotee. They claim, they, de they, de they demand that we are devotees. With Tilak, Malak, everything. They are going to prove that we love our Gurudev. But they never love any Vaishnava. So you see, so long you are hearing all secret Siddhanta. If this kind of thing you will find that they are going to respect their Gurudev, but they are not going to pay any respect to Guru Vaishnava, any other Guru, then they are idiot. They can be thrown out. They are material man. They are not devotees. Because if I love my Gurudev, surely I can love Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. If I love my Gurudev, surely I can love Bhakti to Madhukusima, it's a must. Automatic factor. One Kartik Brato. One Kartik Brato. I was speaking Harikatha in some place in Punjab. So many Harikatha I speak and after in Punjab different places. Finally, I was ready to speak Bhagavad Katha in one place, Punjab. I don't like to name the place. Because they are material men, they become angry. So I told them some Siddhanta, which was evolution for them. They never heard. Because they never heard. That's why it was evolution. I told that actually Jamkirtan is prohibited for bonded soul. They become angry. Our Guru Dev used to tell this, that. What to say? I told Jamkirtan is prohibited for bonded soul, a hundred percent. That our Gurudev, Param Gurudev used to do, yes, they used to do. Because out of their causeless mercy, they wanted to bring some change inside you. When they are doing Jamkirtan, their Kirtan can help. When our Guru Bhargava, I told you yesterday, what is, what is sadhan bhakti for you? I told you yesterday, you can remember. What is sadhan bhakti for you? That is sadha. So they wanted to represent this Jamakirtan as a sadhan bhakti to you. But which is not at all sadhan bhakti. Jamakirtan cannot be accepted as sadhan bhakti. But anyway, pure Guru Vaishnava, they have their power. Pure Guru Vaishnava have their power. If they are sitting in front of you and they ask you to do some 
Jamakirtan, surely they are going to give power. With the order of Guru Vishnu, some power is, uh, is translated into you. So in that case, you cannot, there is less possibility. There is less possibility that you can misunderstand about Radha Govinda Leela. Anyway, Kirtan you are doing as, per, as a practice. You cannot realize. Kirtan you are doing, Jam Kirtan, but you don't know what you are singing. Follow. I was laughing one day, heavily. One, some, some Punjabi people, Jama Kirtan and a very painful Kirtan. Mahaprabhu crying uh, and sh uh, shedding tears and doing this kirtan. I mean, Jama Kirtan. That kirtan, they are doing in a laughing mood. I mean, I mean a dancing mood. There is a very sad kirtan, very sad. Very sad kirtan, Mahaprabhu feeling very pain, going to die. Is feeling, but they are doing this kirtan with uh, enjoying mood. They are dancing this. I, I was laughing. Actually, they don't understand the language what is written there. It is, of course, it is good. Of course, it is very good. But if they understand, it is big trouble. They don't understand. They are uh, just, just like the parrot, you know. <laughs> if they understand, it is very bad. You don't understand, okay. They are simply like one kirtan. We are actually going to guard, we are going to guard the secret things. In Chaitanya Chaitamita you can find, in Chaitanya Chaitamita you can find, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is seeking. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying, you can find in Chaitanya Chaitamita, jar like, jar lagi koite, kohite bhoy, sejonira jane. For whom? We fear, for whom we fear to speak all about secret Vaishnava Siddhanta, I mean Leela, everything. If they are not going to understand, like a lamp, lamp you know, Bhera, Bhera, has some fire here, lamp you know, like goat, you know, their lamp in a hilly place, their Bhera, we speak in Bengali. They cannot understand. So, Krishna Asko Vilas is saying, I cannot, I cannot control myself. I cannot stop myself from speaking all the secret siddhanta. Very nice. I feel, I feel greedy. I like to serve this nice, nice, sophisticated siddhanta. But I fear if the material people they cannot understand, they can criticize. So better if they cannot understand, then it's good for us. I can speak, but if the material people, they are going to be indifferent about this, is good. So I was thinking, it's very nice. They don't understand the language, what kitchen they are doing. Only they are, they are doing kitchen as this much. They were very angry with me when I told, actually, as per Siddhanta, Yama Kirtan is prohibited for bondage. So they become angry. Because they never heard any Siddhanta. One professor from Jambu, he took initiation for 40 years, 45 years. When I started speaking in Harikatha, he told Maharaj in my whole life, I never heard this kind of Siddhanta. He told me, I never heard this kind of Siddhanta in my life. I, that's up to you, I don't know why. But this is Siddhanta. So, Parambhajat Keshav Goswami used to say, you can go on hearing Harikatha. In course of hearing Harikatha, someday you can grow purity, you can discover your strong relationship with Bhagavan, you can step into Raganuga Bhajan, then you can do Jama Kirtan. Bhakti Mithra done Jama Kirtan, okay. It's for elevated devotees. So under the guidance of Srila Bhakti Vita Mahadogu, if somebody is doing, Surely, karma cannot touch them. Anyway, they are not going to understand what they are singing, feeling. They have... Anyway, so, I was discussing about this point, that Brahma speaking to his grandson. Brahma speaking to his grandson. 
Brahma speaking to his grandson Priyabrata that if you go to forest for solitary bhajan, anyway you are going to carry your six ripu, kama, krodha, everything. So there also fear. But if you become jitendriya, if you can get control of your sense organs and mind, what problem if I stay among all this society? If I, if I become Jitendriya, if I am successful to get control over my sense organ and mind, then if I am going to stay in the society, in the, then what problem? Because anyway, I am controlled, so nobody can disturb me. You see my grandson, you, may, you see my son, actually, Bhagavan going to give me this seva. Bhagavan going to give this seva to take control of this creation. So I am going to carry out the order of Bhagavan. Your father Manu Maharaj, he has also done it. Now he is aged. Now he is aged. So it is your responsibility to take charge of this. But you are coming into forest. I am me, I myself, Brahma speaking. I myself, Sankar Bhagavan, your father, Manu Maharaj, who not? Everybody going to carry out the order of Supreme Lord. Nobody can, nobody can violate the instruction of Bhagavan. So I am going to carry. So why not you come and take charge of this, you know, you know responsibility? This way, <coughs> actually, Brahma is going to teach Priya, <coughs> Priya Brata, the grandson. Bhayam Pramattasya Manishyo Pishad Yataha Saste Sahasyata Patnya Jiten Driyasya Atma Ratera Buddhasya Shangshara Bandhan King Nukarati Yavad. Bhayam Pramattasya Manishyo Pishad. Same thing in Bhagavatam we know. Bhayam Dityo Vinibhisya Tahashat Ishat Apetasya Viparje Asati Tanmayaya Ato Buddha avayatvam bhaktaika esham gurudeva tatma. Same thing in 11 Katra, Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Uddha. Bhayam, any kind of fear coming from dual conception, I mean from Dithya Vinil. If you think without Krishna, there is so many tatta, actually tatta is one and single. Tattva actually to, actually if you go back, Tattva is one and single. Badanti tat tattva vidam satyam yad jnanam adhyam brahmiti paramatmiti bhagwaniti sabdati. Tattva one and single. But that Tattva is manifested like so many things. But Tattva one and single. If you can see, it is my guarantee to you. It is my guarantee in front of you. If you can see Bhagavan, if you can see, realize Bhagavan inside your number one enemy, that enemy cannot do anything to you. <laughs> you can test yourself. You can test yourself. I am speaking now. If you can see Bhagavan inside your enemy, the enemy cannot kill. If you can see it, <coughs> if you can see it, your Bhagavan inside tiger, tiger cannot attack you. If you can see your Bhagavan inside snake, snake cannot. Practically. <coughs> but you will have to realize, hundred percent. Not that it is drama. Up to that point you will have to go. So that you can realize everywhere my Bhagavan is there. Then no problem can touch you. <coughs> Impossible. So, in Bhagavatam, we find same Bhagavatam, first one also from Bhagavatam, it is from 5th canto, it is from 11. So anyway, you can fear, when you can think your bank money is a separate tattva for you, you are busy to give protection to your land and property, you are busy to give protection to your wife, lady love, or you are going to give protection, ensure protection of your 
son and daughter, father. Then the whole responsibility coming on your, on your head. When you are going to think in this way, I mean all your mind going diversified way, some portion of your mind this way, some portion of mind going this way, some portion of mind this way. You yourself going to plan how to protect this, that, self-protection, secure, you know, for you are going to, uh, you know, arrange life insurance, life insurance, you know, car insurance, all you have, insurance. So you are going to secure your life yourself, Due to your false ego, all responsibility coming on your head. Bhagavan say, okay, are you going to take responsibility? You take. Who am I? Anyway, you are not going to rely upon me. You are going to depend upon yourself. Anyway, do what you can do. But when devotee, when pure devotee is going to take shelter of Bhagavan, then it is the responsibility of Bhagavan to give protection, this, that's all. This is the basic thing. This is the most basic thing you'll have to learn. So, any kind of fear or different kind of fear can come in our life. Because we are going to think, we, we are going to have dual conception. Dhiti Abhinivesh. Vayam Pramatasya Vaneshupishat. Yataha Shas Ena. You know, bhayam dityo vinivesha tahashat, bhayam dityo vinivesha tahashat, ishat apedrasya viparja. When your mind is, you know, the needle of, you know, you know, compass, if you are going to put this way, the needle cut can go north way, north south. If you turn the direction, again, tuck can go north and south. It's called scattered, I mean uh, uh, jerking. So this way all our mind, we are unable to concentrate on this aprakita adhyayagyan tattva. Many times I told in open assembly, big, big sadhus there, so long as, so long as I am not established in adhyayagyan tattva, I should not go for preaching. You try to remember why I speak. So long as I am not established in Adhyayaga and Tattva, I should not go for preaching. Because if I go for preaching, I can see beautiful girl there. I can feel attraction. Beautiful man. There's very nice building. This kind of appearances there. So, so long as I am not established in this Advaigan Tattva, if I go, then diversified, then diversified darshan can appear in Sadhana. Not one darshan. If one and a single darshan, but through, but through this single darshan, I can see everything. It's okay. Through this single darshan, I am going to see, okay, it is, it is the arrangement of Krishna, diversified. But when I told many times, diversified darshan is not uh, wrong, but provided if you see through single Adhyayagyan Tattva. If you can see or diversify, if you can feel, originally it is one Adhyayagyan Tattva, then no problem. So, one single tattva in diversity, diversity in unity, unity in diversity. Follow what I say. Vaisi Varsa, you will have to realize. Unity in diversity and diversity in unity. If you are established, then there is no problem. Unity in diversity and diversity in unity. It's okay because you originally know there is one and a single tattva all over infinity world. Who are you? Who are me? Who is he? All single tattva. 
That's why you can remember maybe seven, eight days before, I speak. I was speaking. That Chatusang going to ask to Brahma, why matter going to enter into Chitta? Chitta going to get entry into matter. How possible? Brahma was busy with some other thing, engaged mentally. So he, he was bound to take shelter of Bhagavan. Bhagavan coming in the form of a swan. Swan, you know swan? In the form of a swan in the lake. In the lake. In the form of a swan. And the swan, swan coming in from the Chatushan, very small boy. But there, the, there, I cannot uh, speak about their age because they are oldest, but still they look like look like four year, five years boy, Chatushan. Chatushan. It looks they are very small, but they are old, very old. So the swan going to come out, come in front of them, like to speak something, then Chatushan could realize. Chotusam could realize uh, the swan like to speak something. Swan like to speak something. Then Chotusam asking, Who are you? What do you like to speak? Who are you? Speaking to swan. Who are you? In that case, swan speaking, you are Tattva Jnani, you are knowledgeable personality in the whole universe. How you are going to put this kind of question? Why? What? Do? Why you are putting this question in front of me? Who are you? Who are you? If I ask you Chatusam, Hangso asking, who are you? If I ask? This is absurd. Because there is whole universe, infinite universe, there is one and a single Tattva. So it is absurd to ask who are you, who are me? Why a pure sadhu always love everybody? What is the reason? Because they can see Bhagavan in all of them. They can see single tattva. Single tattva in all diversity, they can discover single tattva. That's why they love. <coughs> That's why they have no jealousy, no fighting mood, nothing with anybody. They have no competition with anybody. But bonded soul going to make competition. But they, what, with whom they can? Because Tattva is one and a single. So the answer of this Hamsa, Bhagavan Hamsa, Hamsa Bhagavan, was a perfect. He is asking to Chatusam, this, this kind of question I think is absurd. Because how you can ask that who am I? Whereas we know there is one and a single tattva uh, all around the infinity universe, why are you asking? If you think you are a separate tattva, then you are isolated from this. Eh? You are isolated, no? Yes. Your conception is isolated. So I was bound to speak in front of an open assembly so many times, one or three or four times in my life. All big, big acharyas there. I told, that until and unless I am established in Adhyagan Tata, I have no right to go for preaching. I have no right. Only those who are real, genuine devotees, they can go for preaching. Otherwise, in the name of preaching, he, he can fall in love with some girl in America, here, there, this was. This kind of thing happening. Everywhere. Everywhere I am not making any story. In the name of Bhajan, everywhere same thing happening. I'm not making a story. Because they bonded so Hare Krishna, they go chagal. What you can do? What do you mean by Hare Krishna? Eh? Chagal? Some bonded soul going. Ah, 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 ah. This is the condition of their preaching. Preaching cannot be done this way. One incident I can speak so you can understand because we are busy with preaching. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to preach through Uddha. That's all secrecy of preaching, you know. One day, one, Bhaman Gosema is going for preaching to some place in Bengal. And with him, some devotees going, Brahmachari. 
uh, on reaching the spot, Bhaman Maharaj washed his leg and hand and sitting in the asan and doing bhajan. In the meantime, one brahmachari, one brahmachari going to invite one Mataji's of that house because they are going anywhere. They are going to locality, their house and devotees there. They have their wife, children, daughter, can be there. So what is concerned to what? They can be there. They are grihastha. But that devotee is going to ask and call one Mataji's with material conception. With material conception, mood of material conception. Then Bhaman Maharaj hearing that Brahmachari asking that Mataji with material conception, which is not proper, because those who are devotees, Brahmachari sannyasis, always they should say Mataji's. Always it is good, or Mataji's or daughter is good. But in between there should not be any relationship. If material relationship, if material relationship you like to grow up, is prohibited. So Bhaman Goswami has called that devotee, you can come here to my room. Well, what happens? Uh, you need anything. You pack your luggage. You pack your luggage and go away from here. Why, why? I say you pack your luggage and go away from here. Immediately go. Go to temple. You have no right to stay in preaching field. But now, in preaching field, everything allowed. Torun, Torun. So, actually it is allowed. Everybody, when going to preaching field, they are in problem. Because in preaching field, bonded soul can grow up some relationship, can grow up some relationship with other. Then big problem can be there. So, this is this kind of problem happening everywhere. Bhaman Goswami say you can go away from here. You rectify that thing, Torun Prabhu, but you don't stop it, idiot. So rascal. You should do every seva perfectly. You give to me, you know. It is here, you give, hand over to me. But you should take precaution, you say, no. Doing half seva, not thinking far. So this way you see, Preaching is very difficult, it's not possible. So, until and unless I am totally established in Adhyaya and Tattva, I have no right to go for preaching. Or at all if I go, okay, I am 80% established, but I should follow a big personality, I mean, exalted devotee, pure Vishnu. Because due to his influence, I cannot feel problem, I am protected. But anyway, if I have some personal liberty, then some contamination can happen. Some problem can happen. This way, everywhere this kind of problem can happen. So yesterday I was discussing about how exclusively Brahma wanted to give advice to his son, who? Naraji Maharaj. To Naraji Maharaj, Brahma told that you will have to uh, preach properly so that all common devotees can develop bhakti unto the lotus feet of Supreme Lord. Now you see, Brahma, come on, Brahma is going to give advice. Idam Bhagavatam Nyamo Idam Bhagavatam Namo, you know, uh, Idam Bhagavatam Namo, uh, Janme Bhagavato Ditam. Janme Bhagavato Ditam. Or after that told, Sangroho Ayam Vibhuti Nam. All the compilation of excellent Leela Siddhanta Bhagavan. So, Sangroho Ayam Vibhutinam Tametat Vipulikru. You go and try to spread, I mean, propagate this knowledge among all people. It is the instruction 
of Brahma to Naraji Maharaj. How you can preach? How you can preach? So that Sarvatmani Akhila Dhare. Sarvatmani Akhila Dhare. I mean, who is the who is the heart and soul of infinity world? Who is the heart and soul of infinity world? Sarvatmani Akhila Dhare. All Jiva they can develop devotion. Hare. So that they can develop devotion with this mood. You should preach in such a mood so that that unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, all those in front of whom you are preaching, they should develop devotion with this mood. And which mood at present everybody preaching? Originally, Brahma giving instruction. Idam Bhagavatam Namo Janme Bhagavato Ditam Shangroho Ayam Vibhuti Nam Tamitvat Vipulikru. With this conception, you will have to preach. So, this is called actual preaching. Otherwise, preaching has got no meaning, it is cheating. Without this kind of conception, any kind of preaching, it is called cheating, not preaching. Cheating. So, Bhagavan wanted to train, Bhagavan wanted to actually, Naraji Maharaj is already trained, eh, yeah. Uddhavji Maharaj is already trained, but still, anyway. I told, so, Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, well, if you like to make me a preacher, Acharya, Swadhimam, and yesterday I already told, when Arjun told Swadhimam Twam Prapanyam, I am going to I am going to submit unto your Lord so you teach me, that was a preliminary. That was the preliminary point. But finally, when after whole Gita is almost over, then we discover in 18th chapter, we discover in 18th chapter that Arjun himself speaking. We discover that Arjun himself speaking, but before that Arjun not speaking this. Only speaking Swadhim, Swadhim Amtam Prapanyam. After long discussion, I mean Krishna speaking so many tattva, finally in 18th chapter we find Karishya Bachanam Tava. Karishya Bachanam, what you speak, I can carry out your order. I told you that is the symptom of a disciple. That is, that is the original symptom of a disciple. Disciple doesn't mean he can cook for me, he, from Gurudev, he can wash clean room. He is doing seva, but what is there inside their heart, his heart, who knows? With what can say, somebody doing seva for a long time. Finally we see, he, draw, he throw everything, Guru Seva gone and married. After Guru Seva, long time doing Guru Seva. After that he is doing woman association. Fallen. So with what conception? Not that blindly we can say, oh, he has done seva, so he is great. Not that. Not that. You should be... You should remember all Tattva Vijyan. After a long time, Guru Seva doing Moman Association in, in temple itself, inside temple, in, inside bathroom. So you see, this can also happen. So who is going to do Guru Seva with what, what mood? That is the special thing. That is the main, that is the main thing. We should not be foolish. One man doing Guru Seva for a long time, finally we discover he likes to become Acharya. That's why he's serving Guru Seva. We cannot find even a single man who is without any motive doing Guru Seva. That's why this condition. Speaking Harikatha for money, position, everybody can. Not for the satisfaction of Bhagavan. 
If I speak Harikata for the satisfaction of Bhagavan, whole world can come and attack me. They cannot bear me. That is the situation at present. So who is doing Guru Seva in what mood? That is the main thing. But you are foolish, you don't understand. You have no idea. Kuresh, his Guru Seva was totally 100% pure. Guru Seva of Kuresh was 100% perfect, he had no desire. Guru Seva of Parmajat Keshav Goswami Maharaj was perfect, no. Guru Seva of Bhakti Bhavad Puri Goswami Maharaj, I can give evidence. Popat going to repent. Oh, after hearing so gone, I can discuss tomorrow. So any amount of seva, any kind of efficiency, any amount of seva, any amount of efficiency you are going to show in front of public in the name of Guru Seva, you cannot make fool of me. Why you are angry with me? Because you cannot make fool of me. People, they are angry with me. Why? Because they just cannot make fool of me. That's why they begin angry. If they have the scope to make fool of me, they could give me so many honor, ah, oh, great Vaishnavi, but they cannot make full of me. That's why they become angry. So, with what mood, who is doing Guru Seva, that is the main point. But one vital point, one vital point, if Gurudev is going to give me instruction, you will have to go and do it. If I can carry out the order, then that is the certificate. Gurudev giving me order, go and do this seva. To carry out the order of Gurudev is very difficult. Day by day I can discuss the mood of Prabhupada. I can say, big problem. To carry out the order of Gurudev, if just now Gurudev give me order to go and do some special seva, it's a big trouble. We have concentration. About some other things, Ditya Vinayas, not in Guru Charan. If my mind is resting in Guru Charan, no father in the world can do any harm to me. They can try. They have tried so many people. They have tried to do harm, but they are not successful. At all, if my mind is resting unto the lotus feet of Guru Padma, who father can do some disturbance to me? Nobody can. Impossible. So, this is a big point. So, Arjun, finally speaking, Karishya Pachanam Tava, that is the vital point. When Arjun is speaking himself, whatever you are going to speak, that I can carry out. That is the symptom of a pure devotee. That is the symptom. So, now Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, uh, if you at all like to make me a preacher, uh, so you will have to swadhi Mam, yesterday I already told, yesterday I already told, Uddhavji Maharaj speaking, so aham mama hamiti moramatir bigar tanamayaya biro chitat manisanu bandhe tattu anjasanigaditam bhavata yadaham sangsadhyami bhagavan anusadhivitvam. If at all like to give me this kind of order, then you please uh, you teach me properly, train me properly. So, Bhagavan speaking that, okay, prayena manuja loke lokaha stato vichakshanaha samad dharantihi atmanam atman naiva asubha sayat. Asubha sayat. Bhagavan speaking, in this material world, in this material world, Lok, Loko Tattva Vichakhan, 
those are very, very tattavid. They can see past, present and future. Actually, Guru equal to Bhagavan. Not almost equal to Bhagavan. If I say almost equal to Bhagavan, then there is some defect. Gurudev and Bhagavan identical. Only the thing is a predominating absolute and predominated absolute. Gurudev is not counter whole. So you should understand, Bhagavan speaking, around this material world, in this material world you can find those who are Tattabhid, very, very wise man. Tattabhid means realized soul. Realized soul means they can see past, present and future. According to that they can do everything. Not like blind, bonded soul. Bonded soul running like blind. Bonded soul always running like blind man. They cannot see what they cannot see what can be. They cannot see what can be the consequent of what I am doing. They cannot see. Because they are blind. But Tattabit can see past, present and future. In this material world, those who are Tattabit, Bichakshan, Manavera. Anything they are watching, but anything they are going to think, they can to concentrate inside heart. First of all, they going to concentrate, inside, concentrate themselves inside heart. And by the application of the by the application of the Atma inside. Because I told, I told you, na, Atma is Jnanamai, Atma is Chinmai, Atma is knowledge, knowledge and a full of knowledge. Atma is can Prakashmai, can express light, you know, Prakashmai. I mean, Atma can show you light. This is the way. But now Atma cannot guide you. Because your Atma is now covered up with Maya. So Bhagavan speaking, usually those who are big tattabit, any problem, anything coming, they concentrate into their heart. Their Atma is going to guide them. Their Atma is going to guide them. Because Atma and Paramatma are both there. So, any problem coming, they are not feeling problem. And in Gita, one very vital point you should remember, Bhagavan already wanted to give a clue to this point, what I am now discussing. Bhagavan told, Uddharet Atmana Atmanam no Atman no Iva Avasharet. Uddharet Atmana Atmanam. Try to deliver yourself, try to deliver you, yourself, automatically yourself, you yourself. Try to deliver you yourself. We don't understand the meaning. What is this? What is the meaning? You try to deliver you yourself. What do you mean? We don't understand the meaning. But I can give you one example. Uddharet atmana atmanam na atman If you are going to concentrate into atma, then atma Pure Atma. I mean, if you are realized soul, then Atma cannot misguide you. Atma cannot misguide you. Usually, the meaning is that in English also, in English also, they have no realization, British people, but still they are writing this. You don't know, in my childhood you also read, I think so. It is common. God helps them, those who help themselves. You heard, na? But you forget. But I remember. <laughs> that is the difference between <laughs> you forget everything. I remember. It is written. God helps them, those who help themselves. What do you mean? Almost same meaning. Those who are sitting, doing next to nothing, like an ideal man. 
idol, idol man, you know. Those who are idol man, not going to do anything. They are sitting, doing next to nothing. You go to road, there's somebody playing card, somebody taking tea, somebody churut, they are playing. I think how they are playing. Whole day they are playing card. How they can... This kind of patience, if they can develop a Bhagavan, within one day they can get Bhagavan. <laughs> but they playing card, taking tree, cigarette, I'm going there, watching them, what they are doing. <laughs> this is the condition. So, Uddharet Atmana Atmanam Natman Naiva Avashadvet is also almost same meaning. Bhagavan speaking, you have your power because I am sitting inside you. I am already sitting inside you. So if you concentrate, you can find a tremendous power inside you. Enormous power can develop. But you don't know. You think you are poor. You cannot do away with matter. Oh, I cannot live. Misconception. So, Brahma, actually, <coughs> Bhagavan speaking, Prayena manuja loke loko tatto vichakshana samudharantihi atmanam atman naiva ashubha sayat. Any kind of ashubho, amangal going to come. You concentrate and you can find solution inside yourself. You need not look outside. Who can help me? Automatically. Bhagavan is there to help you. So, Bhagavan speaking, Ya Atmano Gurur Atmaibo Purushasya Visheshataha Yat Pratakhyanum Yat Pratakhyanum Manabhyam Sriyo Asho Anubindate Atmano Guru Ratmaibo Purushasya Visheshataha Yat Pratakhyanum Manabhyam Sreyo Asho Anubindati. Bhagavan speaking, inside a beast also, Bhagavan speaking to Uddha, all in beasts and birds everywhere, where is Bhagavan? Where, where is Bhagavan? Where is not present? Where is Bhagavan? This question is an absurd question. Where Bhagavan is not present? This question is right. Where is Bhagavan present is an idiot question. Why you should put? Where is Bhagavan not present? This question is appropriate. Everywhere. Everywhere. Bhagavan. So, inside one beast and birds, they are Atma. Beast and birds, they are not going to consult any Guru. A beast going to consult what to do, not to do? They are driven by their natural instinct. This way they are going to give birth to children. I mean, they are going to sleep, eat, you know. This way. They are driven by, you know, their natural instinct, general instinct. Bhagavan speaking, those beasts and birds, they are not going to consult with any guru. They are not, they don't think it necessary to consult with one guru. Whereas a man always going to think that I should get one guru. Of course, not everybody. Those who are like beast. And Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. If somebody is a their man, those are men going, who told you they are man? They are more inferior, they are more inferior than beast. I am not speaking, Bhagavan speaking. Dipade Chatuspad. They are Dipad. Two legs, two hands, two ears, like human being. But Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan Krishna speaking, they are two hands, two legs, everything, like human being. But they are more than beast. Dipade Chatuspat. What is the inner meaning? Bhagavan speaking, Dipade Chatuspat. They are like human being. They are more inferior than animal. Because animal can go up to certain limit. Animal can go up to certain limit. After that, animal cannot go. But a human being can do so many things. 
he can destroy the whole world. A human brain is so, he can destroy the whole world. This is the condition. So, Bhagavan speaking, all beasts and birds, inside them, Atma is there. I mean, Jivatma is also there and Paramatma is also there. Paramatma also there. Both, anywhere, any beasts and birds of Paramatma, Jivatma, both, not that alone. Both bluesome friend for, for infinity period, for infinity period, for infinity period, Paramatma is there with you and me, reside, residing inside heart as, as Paramatma, super soul. No misconception this is. So they are not going to think that we need Guru. Whatever they think, they, whatever they like, they are doing. So what is good and what is bad, only Atma can understand. Atma both. What is good or is bad, your Paramatma, Paramatma is Bhagavan anyway. Paramatma is Bhagavan, so he can do good, good and bad. Also, I can also realize what is good and bad. Provided the covering of Maya is over, then I can discover pure Atma, he can also guide me. So why is Sadhu Guru Vishnu so powerful? Because they are guided by Atma Gyan. They are guided by Atma Gyan. What is, what is quite natural with Atma, what is already there, they are guided by the Atma Gyan, that's as well. So, you know, so, they are so, Atmano Guru Ratmaiva Purushasya Visheshataha Yat Pratyakhyanu Manabhyam Sreyu Ashohu Anubindati. Some Jivatma, they are guided by directly what they are watching. What they are watching, most of the people, not those who are beasts and birds, okay. If they watch what they can see, what they can see with their eyes, what they can smell with their nose, they depend upon their sense organ. Follow what he says. Most of the people, like beasts, they depend upon their sense organ. I myself here, I myself hear this thing. Oh, you yourself here. I saw it myself. False thing. So most of the people, Birds also, beast also, they depend upon their practical experience. Practical, what they are watching, what they are hearing, what they are smelling, what they are hearing. I mean, they are going to depend upon sense organ. That's why they are deprived. But a pure sadhu, not going to apply their sense organ to collect some knowledge. Their knowledge coming from inside and Bhagavan. They rely upon Bhagavan. So, Bhagavan speaking, most of the people, most of the people and most of the creature, they depend upon practically what they are speaking, what they are watching, what they are hearing, what according to that. They are driven by, they are driven according to that. What they feel, what they think, by their material brain. But they, anyway, they are not going to depend upon Guru. They don't think it necessary, they don't think it necessary to accept one guru in their life. They never told. Because they are guided by them. <coughs> Bhagavan speaking, a hey, Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav. Uddhav, one, oh, one, one incident I can speak to you. One incident I can speak to you. Bhagavan speaking. God incident? But you can learn so many things. Bhagavan speaking, I can give you, I can give you, uh, I can speak about one incident. So you can learn so many things very easily. 
How? But there was one uh, Abadhut. Abadhut means they are concentrating under the lotus feet of Parabrahma, Brahma or Parabrahma, you know? And they are less interested about material thing and they are driven, they are, you know, not going to take care of this material. Abadhut. What they are eating, how they are going, what they are thinking, nobody can understand. Like Nityananda. Nobody understands what is the mood of Nityananda. What is the mood of Nityananda? Nobody understands. Like mad. Going to do this, that. Nobody understands. Is Abadhut. Shankar Bhagavan. Abadhut. So those who are Abadhut, usually common people, they cannot even guess. Because I already told, common people, most of the people and birds, they are, they are driven by <coughs> their sense organ, what they practically realize. And sometimes, assumption. Also, assumption, oh, I think so. So, they are also assumption also. But assumption is not evidence. Assumption is assumption. But most of the people, most of the beasts and birds, they, actually beasts, they cannot play their head. So, they have no... But most of the people, they are guided by by these two factors. One is practically what they are watching, what they are hearing, what they are this, and another by assumption. Oh, it must be like this. Assumption. But Abadut, anyway, Abadut, you cannot understand Abadut. Abadut is, Abadut is such a character, that if you cannot understand what is this, what they are doing this, totally naked, saying this, cannot give response, what they are doing, cannot answer. Abadhut. Nityananda going, Nityananda Prabhu, and uh, in Siva's angan, just like a small uh, boy, small baby, Nityananda Prabhu, going, going to take the breast milk of um, uh, Malinima. Come on. And it is, it is really strange when because Malinima is aged lady, very aged. But Nithananda sleeping in his, in his lap and taking breast milk. And it's a miracle when Nithananda taking all milk coming. Strange, nobody can understand. Why Nithananda? Just like mother and son. Nithananda not taking prasadam, Malini mixing, giving there. It is written in Chaitanya, nobody can understand. You can misunderstand. You cannot realize, because dirty conception there inside our heart, no. Nah. You can calculate, ah, oh, this, ah, oh. assumption. Then we can go to hell. Malinima mixing prasadam and helping Nityananda to take prasadam. Nobody knows why. Totally avadhut. Avadhut? Gyananishto virakto va madhvakto va anabhekshakaha Shalinganam ashramam stakta charit abhidi gochara. They are beyond any rules and regulations. They are beyond any rules and regulations of this universe. You cannot confine them within some limit. So this way you can understand Abadut syndrome. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. <clears throat> I am going to speak about one history, one practical about one abadhut. Atra pi udaharantim itihasam imam itihasam puratanam abadhutasya sangvadam yador amitate yasya. Well, atrapi, now I am going to give one example. Atrapi udaharantim hmm? Hmm. Uda Adaharantim imam itihasam puratanam avadutasya sangvadam yador amita teyasya. Now I can give, speak out you about the topics of Jadu Maharaj, Jadu Maharaj and one avadhut. Jadu Maharaj and one avadhut. One topics I can speak. The conversation between avadhut and Jodhu Maharaj asking and that Atra pi udaharanti mitihasam Atra pi udaharanti mimam 
इतिहासम पुरातनम अवधुतश्य संवादम जदो रमित अवधूत दिव्य कशि चरत अकुतु भय कवि निरीक्षो तरुण यद प्रपच्छ धर्मवीत अबाउट जदु अबाउट जदु महाराज इन भागवतम इट इज रिटिन धर्मवीतम अबाउट जदु महाराज इट इज इट इज इन इन भागवतम इट इज रिटिन धर्मवीतम He is the topmost of the, you know, dharma bid. Those who are having knowledge about dharma he is the topmost among them. But whereas we found, we 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 already find, we know that Jodhu Maharaj going to violate the instruction of his father, Jajati. And Bhagwan Koi Krishna going to give topmost honor to Jodhu Maharaj. Whereas we find in Bhagavatam, Jodhu Maharaj wanted to avoid the instruction, violate the instruction of Jajati. Whereas Bhagwan Sri Krishna is going to give him the topmost honor. Why? Because he took birth in Jodhu destiny. To Jodhu destiny, he is going to give give big honor. Why? Why? Why so? Because. There is long history. I have no time to speak. Maybe tomorrow I can speak. Jodhu Maharaj was interested about Krishna Seva. Jodhu Maharaj was less interested about the order of father because father is material. Jodhu Maharaj wanted to avoid the instruction of father because father is material. He is with enjoying mood. So he wanted to avoid father. He wanted to follow the uh, the track of bhakti. So it's good. He like to do bhajan of Bhagwan Singh. If I am going to obey the order, if I am going to carry out the order of my father, anyway I am going to lose bhakti. I cannot do devotion. Like the case tomorrow, I can discuss. Time is very limited, so I don't feel any satisfaction. Like Pitama Visha, when Amba Ambalika. The daughter of Kasi Raj, both of them they like to marry. They like to marry Pitama Vishwa, very stout figure. But Pitama Vishwa says, "How I can marry? I am Brahmachari. How I can marry? No, we have to marry." Then finally, they are going to complain with Guru Dev. I mean, Parshuram. This is a case. We catch your lotus feet. You please arrange so that I uh, I can give because my two daughters they are not going to marry anybody. Then Pita, then Guru Dev, you know, Parshuram speaking. Hey, we have to marry these two daughters. Guru Dev, I cannot marry because I am Brahmachari by birth. I am Brahmachari. No, you have to marry. Marry? What is this? I am Brahmachari by birth. You, I have my resolution, but you say you have to marry. Finally, Pitama Vishwa was very disappointed and very angry. Ah, what? You are going to give me order? I have to marry. How I can marry? Huh? Then Pitama Vishwa going to leave Guru Dev. What? Is that? Utpata pati utpata pati vannasya paritayga vidhi ate. This kind of guru should be should be thrown out. What guru is going to speak all rubbish? You know already. I have my resolution not to marry. I say you will have to marry. You are putting pressure on me. Then Pitama Vishwasuji, what is good, what is bad, what to do, what not to do. If this kind of common, if this kind of common conception is not there in Guru, who, what I can do with this Guru? I can leave this Guru. It is a standing instruction that utpata pati vannasya. उत्पत्त पति बनुष्य परित्याग विधि होती है। It is the rules you should live guru. So up to this point I discuss. No time cannot permit. You uh, grow your concentration to hear and try to digest. So बायम प्रमत्तश्य बनिश्यो पिशाद यथा शास्ते शाहशाट पत्निया जितें द्रियस्वात्मरतेर बुद्धश्य शंक्षार बंधन किंगु करुति अवद्याम 
वाचकल्पद्रोष के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितान पावन भविष्य भ्यून